And also tonight, tributes to former Mayor Moon Landrieu continue. He was the mayor of New Orleans from 1970 to 1978. Landrieu died yesterday at the age of 92. WGN's Jordan Lippincott spoke with some of Landrieu's former colleagues. Jordan. Kurt, Susie, the one word I believe I heard the most while interviewing Landrieu's former employees was understanding. They said Landrieu understood the people he served as well as the people he knew would be an asset to the city. Tim Francis, the son of Norman Francis, says his father, who was the first black person to graduate from Loyola Law School, was greeted by Landrieu, Pascal Calagero, and Michael O'Keefe at the start of school. Tim says Landrieu and the others told his father he had their support while earning a law degree in the 1950s. And that was just sort of an amazing uh, moment for my father who showed up on a campus where he couldn't stay in the dormitories, uh, was, a, was an outlier, uh, but knew that there were three people there who were going to make sure that he had a, a, a good experience in law school. Years later, Tim Francis went on to work for Moon Landrieu while Landrieu served as the U.S. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. At six, you'll hear from another couple of Landrieu's former employees who were among the first black people to work under a New Orleans mayor. All right, Jordan Lippincott reporting for us. Thank you, Jordan.